Let us see few questions and answers on operating systems. Which of the following can be said about the segmentation fault caused when a process is active? Segmentation fault caused when a process is active. So it will recover from fault transparently to the user by moving the required page from the secondary memory. And this is not true. The false case may most likely be in programming, error in programming. It will, uh, this is also not true. It will not abruptly terminate the process and core image of the process will be safe for further observations. It will cause the process to go into the block state. It will most likely be caused by hardware fault. So, what can be said about a segmentation fault caused when a process is active. This means the answer is it will abruptly, it will abruptly this one, terminate the process and the core image of the process will be saved for further observation. This is the answer. 22nd, a common programming construct for implementing mutual exclusion which uses condition variable. Mutual exclusion which uses condition variable. Which one of this we are learning theory also. The answer is monitor. Monitor uses the condition variable. Because the monitor uses condition variable for implementing the mutual exclusion. 23rd. Suppose request have recently arrived for data on cylinders 25, 46, 12 and 3. In that order. And that the read write head is currently at cylinder 20. So if the disk scheduling policy is SSTF means shortest seek time first. The outstanding request will be serviced in the order. Can you can you answer this? Because this uh, cylinder is at 20. So what is going to be the answer? Please watch this very carefully D. Since the cylinder is at 20. So just take the difference from all these. The minimum would be 5, 25 minus 20 is 5. So it will go to 25 first. When it has reached to 25, then find the difference 25 minus 12 and this will be 25 minus 12 will be 30. So this will be the lowest. Then 12 will be serviced. Then the uh, head has come to 12 now. Now let us uh, find the difference of 12 with 46 and 12 with 3. So, of course, the difference, the lowest difference is 12 minus 3, that is 9. So, it will serve, uh, serve the 3. And then finally, it will go to 46. This is how this is going to work. 24. What does this DMA stands for? This is quite easy. If you want not to go to CPU again and again, and you want to access the memory directly, then DMA stands for Direct Memory Access. So, B is our answer. Direct Memory Access. Next question is, which of the following disk scheduling methods is most likely to lead to starvation for request on inner and outer cylinders? Which of these disk scheduling methods is going to uh, starve for, for the request on inner and outer cylinders? And as we have read in the theory, the 25th is the B, shortest C time first because the SSTF disk scheduling method is most likely to lead to starvation for request on inner and outer cylinders. Next is which of the following is incorrect order? Is it correct order of size? Smallest first. So we have to see which is the correct order of size. So can you can you answer this? 26. The answer is C. Why? First, because we are we need to answer in the smallest first. So first we have a sector. See, this is so a sector, then a then a track. So 26th would be a sector, then a the sec, this is if this is a track, then a sector would be say this is a track. A sector would be this one. So a sector, then a track, and then the cylinder. C is our answer. Then this is 27. Process, a process that executes a read instruction 
for a data record currently on disk will undergo a process state transition from which a process that reads a read executes a read instruction for a data record so what will be the answer the answer would be b running to blob running to blob is the correct process state transition here ready in a certain system a has just arrived at uh, 0 a 0 process b at 3 c at 6 a needs 5 second in the cpu b 3 seconds and c 1 second all processes are totally cpu bound and process switching time is negligible so that after 9 seconds all processes have completed at what time does the process b complete if the process scheduling algorithm is preemptive sjf this sjf is shortest job first and the quantum is one second so we see that b only need three seconds so b has completed here then c will come and c would need only one second for that so we see after that a is remaining two so a will complete a a that will be in nine seconds so when b has completed Six the answer will be six. Twenty ninth. If the value of a binary semaphore S is zero, and the process execute the wait instruction on S, then what will happen? The answer is B. S will remain zero, and the process will be placed on a queue. Twenty nine. Because the, according to the condition of semaphores, S will remain in zero, and the process will be placed. On a queue. Next is the process of collecting fragments of available memory space into contiguous blocks by moving program and data into in a computer memory or disk is known as. The answer is compaction. Right. Thirty one. Which of the following controls all the computer resources and provide the base upon which the application program can be written? And this is a very straightforward answer. Operating system does that. 32. Which of the following system call loads a process into memory? Loads. This is a system call. 32. The answer is load only. This one. 33. Explain the term Unix. U N I C S. 33. The answer is the, the first one, of course. Uniplex information computing system, the first one. Uniplex information computing system. 34. Which of the following software layer is used between the kernel and the user computation in the network OS? We are talking about a network OS here. So the answer is B, of course. 34. Network operating system is the software layer used between the kernel and the user. 35. Which of the following allows many users to share the computer simultaneously? How can uh, many users be sharing the computer simultaneously? The answer is, of course, the name suggests this, that it is time sharing operating system. 35. Time sharing operating system. 36. If a program is under execution by a CPU, then we say the process is under what? Can you answer this? If a program is under execution by CPU, then we say the process is under CPU burst, right? A. Next one. Each process is represented in operating system by its own. Which one? Process control block. PCB is the answer. 38. The amount of time that a job waits in ready queue for getting selected by a CPU is called as 38. This is the waiting time. Waiting time. 39. The process of storing and restoring from PCB is called which is the answer? 39. The answer is context switch. The process of storing and restoring the PCB is called context switch. 40. Which of the following memory management scheme loads all pages of a program from disk into main memory? Memory management scheme you have to ask an answer. Loading all the pages from the program of a program from disk into main memory. The answer is paging. 
Paging memory management scheme loads all pages of a program from disk into main memory. Next one. Which of the following page replacement algorithm use the technique of re replace the page which is not used in the near future? 41. What is the answer? The answer is ORA. This is the this is the one which is not used in near future is this one. 42. Then uh, the set of pages that a process is currently using is called as the set of pages which the program is using. 42. The answer is working set. The set of pages that a process is currently using is called the working set. Next is which of the following registers contains starting address of a program in the main memory? Starting address 43. The answer is base register. This is the starting. You, you cannot have 0000, 0, 0, 0 as the starting address. So for that you have a base, base register. Next one. The process of converting logical address into physical address is known as relocation. Relocation. 44. Relocation. 45. In a segmentation scheme, the logical memory will be divided into what? Segmentation. The answer is segments. Segmentation scheme, the logical memory will be divided into segments with some offsets. 46. Which of the following area is used to store the OS programs in the main memory? Following area, OS programs in main memory. 46. The answer is monitor memory area. Right? So this, uh, the place where OS programs are stored in the main memory is called as monitor memory area. Okay? 47. In Unix, which of the following system call return the metadata about the file? Metadata about the file. This is fstat. fstat. This is a system call which is returning the metadata about a file. Next one. Information in the file is processed in order. One record after another. The mode of access is called one after the other. Which, which is the answer? The answer is simply sequential. One after the other means sequential. 49. Which of the technique is used to recover the process from starvation situation? Starvation situation. 49. The answer is aging. If you provide aging, then it will not starve. 50. Before we store data into a disk, it must be divided into sectors and from where the disk controller can read and write. What is this called? This is known as 50. And this is known as low level formatting low level formatting or uh, say the answer would be physical formatting okay physical formatting or low level formatting 51 the disk controller can be told to replace each batch sector logically with one of the spare sectors in the disk this controller batch sector with one of the spare sectors in the disk this section is known as what is this what is this called the answer is sector sparing. Sector sparing. 52. Controlling the access of programs, processes, or users to the resource defined by the system is known as 52. The answer is protection. Controlling the access of program, progress, program, processes, or users to resource. You know, protection defines that who is going to use what. 53. The dash are reserved for events such as un. Recoverable memory errors and this is A. Non-maskable interrupts. These are reserved for events such as unrecoverable memory errors. 54. Which of the following mechanism is used to achieve concurrency control? Concurrency control. And this is what can be the answer? Concurrency control. The answer is the lock mechanism. This is used to achieve the concurrency control. Next is Every process before starting execution should know what resources are allocated to it. And this is known as, what is the answer? The answer is B, need to know. Every process before starting execution should know what resources are allocated to it, is known as need to know. 56. The ability to execute an operation on an object is known as, to execute an operation on an object is known as access right. A is the answer. 57. The time required to move the disk head to the desired track is known as 
What is the answer? 57. The answer is C time. So the time required to move the disc head to the desired track is known as a C time. Next one is distributed system is a collection of processor that do not share what? 58. The answer is they don't share memory. Distributed system they don't, don't share memory. Next one, the, num, the name of the file does not reveal any hint of the phys file's physical storage location, which is called as the name of the file does not reveal any hint of the physical physical uh, storage of file location. And the answer is location transparency. Next one is software entity running on one or more machines and providing a particular type of function to a priori unknown clients is called. What is this? software entity on different machine providing a particular type of function to a priori unknown clients and this is nothing but the service so software entity running on one on one over mach machine providing a particular type of function to a point to a, a priori unknown client is called service so these were a few questions on operating systems thank you so much take care